Welcome to this video and in this tutorial let's see about multiple website hosting from the Livebox streaming server. And recently a few updates were made on Livebox website feature so that you can now host three types of websites from Livebox. And you are going to see what are they as we move further into this tutorial. Let's get started. So here on the Livebox dashboard I'm going into this websites from the navigation menu. And here on my websites list, you can see that I have hosted three types of websites that is Grave, Typesetter and WordPress. And if you have surfed about website hosting from other sources, you might have already known that WordPress is one of the most popular content management systems in use. And these two websites are also other similar content management systems. So if you have Livebox in your hand, then you don't have to worry about website hosting as you can create a number of sites of different types. So to create these sites, follow the steps that I am going to do now. First click on this create button and here give a name for your site and then select whichever website type you want. Finally click on this create button. So the site is now created. Once the site is ready to get started, it shows the running status here. So if you want to log in your site and get started with your website hosting, you can use this redirection provided here. And then on your site login interface, you can give the provided credentials generated by Livebox and get started with your brand new website right away. So now back on the website list, you can click this lock icon to get your website's credentials. You also have the option to change your password as you wish. But make sure to make a note of your changed password because lost passwords cannot be retrieved from Livebox at any cost. Other than that, you have controls here to start the website, to stop the website and to delete the website. And if you click on this gear icon, you can do all the file browser settings like uploading files or even change your site theme. And to log in this file browser, you can use this credentials provided here. Then moving on to the site loading issues, if there occurs any issues in your site loading, then you can use this refresh configuration button. And then if you want to control your website services, you can go to the service monitor and here you can start, stop or restart your website services. And for the other site types like grave or typesetter, we have only delete control here because once the grave or typesetter site is created, all the other remaining website hosting procedures like sign up will be done in the respective grave or typesetter platforms. Well, I think these are the basic steps you ought to know to host websites from the Livebox streaming server and I hope you'd find this tutorial useful to host your own websites. And to know more on Livebox and website hosting, visit livebox.co.n. Thanks for watching this video.